Required practical seven, identifying unknown ionic compounds. In this experiment, you will be testing three different ionic compounds. The flame test to identify positive metal ions. Take a splint which has been soaked at one end in the unknown ionic compound. Hold the splint in a blue Bunsen burner flame and record your results in your table. The flame color can then be matched to the known metal ion. Test with sodium hydroxide to identify metal ions. Take one centimetre cubed of your unknown ionic compound and place that into a test tube. Then add one centimetre cubed of sodium hydroxide solution. If the reaction produces a coloured precipitate, you can identify the metal ion from the colour of the precipitate and repeat with the other two ionic compounds. Test for carbonates, negative ions. Take one centimetre cubed of your unknown ionic compound and add that into a clean test tube. Then take one centimetre cubed of lime water using a fresh pipette and place that into a clean test tube. The lime water is going to be used to test for the presence of carbon dioxide gas. Then take one centimetre cubed of hydrochloric acid and react that with your ionic compound. If you see fizzing, then record your observations, collect the gas and bubble it into the lime water. And if carbon dioxide gas is present, then the lime water should turn cloudy. Repeat your experiment with your other ionic compounds. Test for halide ions using nitric acid and silver nitrate. Take one centimetre cubed of your unknown ionic compound and place that into a clean test tube. Use another pipette to add one centimetre cubed of nitric acid into your test tube and then use another clean pipette to add one centimetre cubed of silver nitrate into your test tube. If there are halide ions present, you should observe a coloured precipitate, record your observations and identify the negative ion. Test for sulphate ions. In a clean test tube, add one centimetre cubed of your unknown ionic compound. Then use another pipette to add one centimetre cubed of hydrochloric acid to your test tube and then add one centimetre cubed of barium chloride. If the reaction produces a white precipitate, then there are sulphate ions present in your unknown ionic compound. Repeat with the other two.